Hey everybody, thanks for watching our JTEC Digital YouTube channel. My name is Kenneth and today I'll be unboxing these two HDMI extenders showing you why you need them and how to set them up. As we all know, HDMI is the industry standard for connection in the AV world, connecting devices such as your Blu-ray player and Apple TV to a TV or a projector. But there are certain limitations within HDMI. One of them being the distance an HDMI cable can run before it starts to lose signal quality. These extenders can help extend an AV signal up to 492 feet with 1080p and up to 394 feet with 4K. With these extenders, you can use Cat5e or Cat6 Ethernet cable with Cat6 being preferred for best quality. This is our 1080p HDMI extender over Ethernet. This is the JTEC HDT150. This is the transmitter. This is the receiver. Now this unit will transmit a 1080p signal up to 500 feet. The unit comes with a power adapter for the transmitter side. a larger IR cable for the receiver, a smaller IR cable for the transmitter, two RS-232 push connectors, two sets of mounting ears, and last but not least, our 18 month warranty card. Imagine this scenario. You have a home theater room on the second floor and a ceiling mounted projector. All of your source devices are ran to your AV receiver in your AV closet on the first floor. Instead of running a long HDMI cable and risking signal degradation, why not use one of these HDMI over ethernet extenders? Here's how to set it up. These are our HDMI extenders over ethernet uh, this is a 1080p unit that supports up to 500 feet for the 1080p resolution. First, you will start by connecting your power adapter to the transmitter. Next, you'll connect your source via HDMI to the transmitter. Now, if you want to control your AV receiver on the second floor in your home theater, make sure to connect the smaller IR cable into the IR out of the transmitter. Ensure that the IR blaster on the smaller cable is close to the AV receiver's IR sensor. Now, you use an ethernet cable, Cat5 or Cat6e preferably, and connect it into the transmitter. Connect the other end of your ethernet cable into the receiver. As these extenders use the HD base T protocol, no power is needed on the receiver side. Instead, the receiver will be powered over ethernet by the transmitter. Last but not least, you'll connect your HDMI cable from your display into the receiver. Once we get an image, now I can hit play from the transmitter or from our laptop source and you'll see there's almost zero latency. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to our JTEC Digital YouTube channel. That'd be very helpful to us. Stay tuned, we'll see you next time.